Hey guys, it's Randall here with the maintenance channel. Um, yeah, I got asked a question today, and it's had me, you know, thinking. When you're new in your business, you know, how do you deal with lowball customers or customers that you, you really desperately need the job because you're broke and you're already two months behind on your rent? You can't put food in your fridge. And you can barely afford to put five dollars in gas in your vehicle to get anywhere. How how do you how do you deal with lowballing customers when you know you do a good job, or, or it's a customer you, you know you, maybe you don't want to take that customer because you know it's you you know what they're going to be like you know it's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. There's I mean there's there's a lot of people out there that can say you know it's, you know it's it's easy you just do it. It's really not that simple. You know, it takes years to build confidence to be able to put your foot down and look a customer dead in their eyes and be able to tell them, look, this is, you know, this is the price of my service and this is the reason why. And you got to be able to, you know, take it or leave it and you got to be able to walk away and, and not buckle. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with giving a, a repeat customer a deal you know because they're giving you work there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes you got to take the good with the bad and and you know see nobody talks about this stuff and you're standing there in front of the customer and your your guts turning because you know you need that hundred bucks desperately to pay your electric bill or you're literally broken you don't even have any food you're not going to eat that night if you don't make this hundred bucks but you know the customers you tell them a hundred bucks and they're like eh yeah that's 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 too expensive so you know you're standing there sweating bullets what, what do you do at that point do you, do, you, do you tell them okay 40 bucks you know when you know 40 bucks isn't even gonna it's barely gonna cover your gas like you, you know it's and you might be able to eat for that night but then what are you gonna do tomorrow you know it's a it's a catch-22 you got to be confident to be able to raise your prices but to be able to raise your prices, you have to be, you know, the the obvious choice in the neighborhood where everybody, your phone's ringing off the hook and everybody's calling you. It's just, really to, to answer the question, how do you deal with customers like that, is, it comes down to you got to you gotta take the good with the bad and take what you can get in the beginning. Sometimes you're going to have to work shit jobs for 30 bucks for, you know, as Keith Keith Kalfas says for peanuts until you can work your reputation up in the neighborhood. Uh, once you once you grow your business and you start to grow your reputation and people know that you do a good job and, and you deep inside know your worth, you'll be able to stand in front of a customer with confidence and tell them your price. Take it or leave it and you'll be able to walk away because you don't need the job, you're not hurting for it but it's rough in the beginning I, re I remember in the beginning of my business I'd standing in front of customers and gut literally just sweating bullets gut just churning you, you like, like man you think to yourself man damn I need this this 30 bucks bad and you know they're they're trying to beat you down to ten dollars and you can't even you can't even buy the material that's needed for the job for ten dollars let alone for you know install it for 20 bucks and then what you know you just wasted eight hours of your time for thirty dollars I mean, it's, you know, it's rough in the beginning, but you gotta, you just gotta keep on paddling, is what it comes down to. You gotta take what you can get, and just keep on trucking until you, you build a better reputation. Uh, you gotta stick with it. So, uh, I don't know, I was just thinking about